G'day ladies and gentlemen, it's way there once again and today I thought <coughs> I'd make instead of a vlog I'd show you a little thing that I do with Emacs. So this is just um, using org mode to keep track of tasks when I'm at work. Now we have a, a timesheet system where we have to enter work we've done, you know, time, in and out, um, the job number associated with blah blah blah. But sometimes someone jumps on the you know, you get a phone call, you start working on the job, you don't check when you start, all that sort of thing. And then, you know, you get a few of those things in a row or it snowballs and then you've got to go back until you do your timesheet and you can't remember exactly when. So what I've started to do is basically I have, because I always have Emacs open as you're supposed to, and I have a um, org file that I just work out of, so I just give it title which is like the week starting date which is obviously today 25th January um, and then I just do the days and then um, when I first come in I sort of you know start adding some sort of tasks with what I what I've got to do during the day and then jump into stuff as it comes along so all that you do things in a hierarchical mode and the schematic and so you know, you can see there the first act is Monday. I can, I can do all the jobs for Monday. Oops. You know, job one, job two. And then if there's sub jobs, I can go. Cycle them through, or, you know, uh, hide them so you can have like Monday, and then is Tuesday, and so forth, and expand them all out, that sort of thing. So, so what I do is okay. So the first thing I do when I come in usually is check emails and logs. So I go. Check emails and logs. Um, maybe I should add a thing I'm learning how to bloody type. Um, now with org mode you can uh, set things as a to-do job and you know you can cycle through, put it on hold or done. They're the only ones that I have cancelled. I need to restructure that. I was fiddling with it and obviously cancelled is in green which is not the way it's supposed to be but anyway. Okay so Basically, I know things to do, let's say, uh, update time sheet. Oh, boy, oh hell. <laughs> there you go. So when you're actually doing these jobs, um, you need to keep track of what time it's taken to do it. So to clock into a job and the key command is a bit if you know or read anything about Emacs um, there's often <laughs> a lot said about the complexity of it once you get into the habit of it it's a lot easier and you can customize um, key shortcuts and all that sort of thing don't get too hung up on that and worry what I'm doing I haven't set up anything for this so I'm just using the stock standard thing which is um, <laughs> Control C, Control X, and Control I to clock in. So I, and there you can see it's clocked me in. Now it's got the date and it's got the time there. So what it does then is um, it basically tracks how long that you spend on a job. So you can stuff around there for a few minutes. Um, we'll add some other jobs. Uh, have lunch. So it's actually clicked over to another minute now on my clock. So to clock out of the job is Control C, Control 
X control O. So it's O, bang. And then you can see there, no, it has a little summary for it, and you can do control X control C control D, I believe. Obviously, I haven't remembered which one it is. alert, good old demo going wrong, there, so you can go, and you can give a summary, so obviously when you have like a whole heap of tasks there, laid out with different times allotted against it, you can quickly punch it up and see how much time is spent against it, now obviously with my typing errors and stuff, it's, it's probably made a lot more inefficient than what it does, but it's pretty easy to track it, and then, you know, end of the day, last 15 minutes, you now I go through my time sheet, make sure everything there, I've got the time that I've clocked in and out, you know, you know how many minutes you've spent, that sort of thing, so that's just one of the things that I use the Emacs for, but it makes it pretty easy. So, there you go, just time tracking on tasks in org mode. I hope that was of some use to you, or maybe gave you a little insight of some of the cool things you can do with Emacs. I'm not a programmer, so all the coding stuff I don't really get to take advantage of, but this is, you know, just a little, little hand. Org mode is so powerful. I just like can't do it justice. And you know, I'm right on the edge, like right on the learning sort of things. But anyway, that's it. Org mode task tracking.